just painting what I know and who I like. I do have like a reference photo of artists I want to paint, but for the most part, it's epiphanies. This is the only thing that's ever like made me feel something strong. I get super emotional, I get super happy about it, I get super sad about it, I get really invested and it's just like, when you feel that strongly about something, you can't give it up. I didn't really paint until like 2013 at all. So I didn't really draw or paint. I was hella bored, didn't have anything to do and I had like leftover like set of oil paint from high school. It was just there and I didn't have cable. Anything that you do, you just have to pick it up and do it. I just know for a fact, the moment I step into a classroom and someone's teaching me about art, I'm gonna end up hating it and I'm afraid that one day I'm not gonna wanna do it. But what pushed me a lot was putting my work out there and seeing the response and seeing the positives that come out of it. I ended up meeting Cameron at ComplexCon last year and he was just like, yo, the color, like the blue background, like it makes it pop and this and that. And we were talking about like brush strokes for like a good like five minutes to have that feedback and like conversation with him about my work. It's crazy. I don't really have an end goal right now. Everything I'm trying to do now is just to be able to continue to do this. I remember in high school, before I was painting, I was like, maybe an 11th grader, I was like, yo, one day I'm gonna get hella rich and I'm gonna commission some artist to do this giant ass painting of Gucci eating hamburgers and I'm gonna put it on top of my chimney and it's like five years later, I'm not rich, I don't have a chimney, but at least I painted it myself.